Hi everybody! Welcome back to the Daily Angel Guidance Message. I have feisty Mila here. Ah, she's going nuts because this little thing is her favorite ah, toy. <laughs> it's her favorite. Hey, kitty. Oh, all of a sudden, oh, there she goes. Oh, she's going to go for it. Hold on. <laughs> all right, let me get her out of here so we can get on with the Daily Angel Guidance Message. She just wanted to say hi. Hi, hi, hi. Actually, she didn't. I just felt like it. Okay, here, go get it. She's gonna go after that thing. She goes berserk. So good morning, welcome to the Daily Angel Guidance Message. I'm Ramona Remesad, intuitive guidance coach, angel therapy practitioner, author, speaker, and just getting ready for the gym and wanted to pop in here and get the message to you guys before I go off to do my workout. So today's message is really cool. It is actually just one part of what I call the manifesting recipe or the abundance recipe. Because really in order to manifest or draw into your life anything you want at all, whether it's an abundance of health, an abundance of love, an abundance of money, whatever it might be, there are three key ingredients. And so like a recipe, if you don't use all the ingredients, you're not gonna get the result that you want, right? So it is like a recipe. So today's card that actually popped up is one of those ingredients for the entire recipe. Now, if you want the entire recipe, <laughs> you can definitely get that and it's completely free. You can get it at RamonaRemesat.com forward slash manifesting recipe. So I'll put the link below after. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you, that this really is just one piece of it all. But the card for today is visualize abundance in all forms. <clears throat> so really what this card is calling for us to remember is that abundance is created here first, right? If we can see it, if we can imagine it, then it is completely possible. Right? But too often we let the outside influences impact us. You know, the medical report wasn't good. You know, I can't see how this is going to turn around for me. That kind of thing. And we let the how really get in the way of the what. And remember, I've said it before, the key thing is to learn or is to figure out what you want and leave the how out of it because that is what your spiritual team's expertise is, right? That's what they're gonna work on. They're gonna help bring whatever it is that you want, but you have to get clear on what you want first. That's what this visualized part is about. So it's about getting very clear on what you want your life to look like in all areas. Like I said, what do you want your health to look like? What do you want your career to look like? What do you want relationships to look like? What do you want your spiritual life to look like? All the different components of your life, get very clear on it and spend some time visualizing that every day. And it doesn't have to be tons of time, it can be five minutes, but when you're visualizing it, you want to really bring in as many senses as you can. So it's not just about seeing, you know, the word visualization is a bit misleading because really it's about more than that. It's about creating this scene that you're immersed in where you're using all of your senses, right? So you can feel it, you can smell it, you can taste it, it's like very real. And that's what you wanna create. Create that picture first, then say, angels, please help me you know, with this, right? Please bring me this, what I'm seeing, please bring me this or something even better, right? Remember to keep that disclaimer on everything, every time you ask for something because we are very sort of limited in our thinking of what's possible, but they know all that's possible and they want to bring us the good stuff. So I hope that makes sense. I'm just going to read you what it actually says. So it says, God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize eventually becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings. And that is what you will experience. Like I said, it starts here. Right? First, you have to visualize what you want. That, that's the first step. A lot of people have fuzzy results in their life because they're not, they, don't, they don't have a clear vision. Right? It goes back to that saying that when you are clear, what you want will show up in your life, but only to the extent you're clear. Right? Hey, Sherry, you missed Mila. She took off. <laughs> but if you go back and watch the replay, you'll see her at the beginning. <laughs> 
she's feisty this morning. Well, that's her time right now. She wants to do stuff. Um, yeah, so this is really about step one is figure out the what. Don't worry about the how. Remember, the how isn't up to you. The how is going to be what your spiritual team works on, right? So you just have to get clear first. Yeah, imagine a cat doing their own thing. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> She's all lovey-dovey first thing, and then as soon as you feed her, she's like wanting to just get out there and play and everything. And of course, it doesn't jive with my schedule. I'd love to take her outside right now, but I gotta go to the gym, so. <laughs> um, anyway, but back to the card. Uh, it really is about getting that vision first, right? Getting very clear, and that doesn't mean it has to be the be-all, end-all, right? That can, um, yes, I will repeat that. Very good. Thank you, Sherry. Uh, I will repeat what it says on here, but, um, it goes back to that, you know, th this picture you're creating doesn't have to be the, the final, right? It could be, you know, this is what you're picturing right now that can change and that's fine. So you have to constantly be evolving along with your vision or, or evolving your vision along with how things are going in your life. So I'll repeat the card. God gave you such great spiritual power that everything you visualize, everything becomes reality. Hold a steady vision of that which is beautiful, healthful, positive, and filled with blessings, and that is what you will experience. Indeed, right? Again, it all starts here in the mind. If you can sort of think it, if you can see it, it can be a possibility, right? That's what it all starts with. So I hope that makes sense. And that's homework for today, you guys. So it's about what is your vision? What do you want to create? Remember, when you are clear, what you want will show up in your life, but only to the extent you are clear. If you're getting fuzzy results, it's because you're fuzzy. So that means you kind of kind of go back to the drawing board and get clear on what you want <clears throat> your life to look like in all the areas. Again, what do you want career to look like? What do you want relationships to look like? What do you want your health to look like? What do you want your spiritual life to look like? What do you want your lifestyle or how you have fun? What do you want that to look like? Get clear on all of that. And like I said, this visual part is one, one ingredient of the overall manifesting recipe. So if you want to get the whole recipe, it's only three ingredients, but like a recipe, you need all three in order to get the outcome you want. So if you want all three parts of the recipe and you want the instructions, you can get that. It's completely free. RamonaRemesat.com forward slash manifesting recipe. I'll put the link up after the video. So that's it for today. Um, and if you haven't seen yesterday's Takeaway Tip Tuesday, you're going to want to check that out, especially if you've got any hangups around money or you feel like you're constantly coming up against a wall when it comes to money. You feel like you almost have a chronic... Uh, what's the word? Chronic issues with money. And you know, maybe you've done the deep work. Maybe you've really dug up into your money mindset and you've tried to heal that and work on that. And yet still you're coming up against something. Because what I share in yesterday's takeaway tip is something that most people have no clue about. Honestly, it's not talked about. It's not on most people's radar. And it's something that's very, it's a very simple fix. We deal with it right in the episode. It's like one and done. So if that's something that, like I said, you're struggling with or have constantly struggled with, please go check that out. It's pinned to the top of the page. And last thing, you're going to want to definitely set your calendar for next week's Takeaway Tip Tuesday because I'm bringing on a special guest expert. Our topic is going to be how to use a pendulum to get clear, accurate, and reliable answers to your questions. Amy Scott Grant is my guest. She is the author of the bestseller Pendulum Mojo. She definitely knows what the heck she's talking about. She's taught me things I thought I knew it all. And then from her, I learned things that honestly blew my mind. I didn't even know you could even think to use a pendulum for some of the stuff that she shared. So it's also a great opportunity if you have a burning question around what to do with a pendulum, this is your chance to ask it. You can ask her live. And she will um, help you with that. So this, I'm really excited about next week's episode. It's Tuesday, October 3rd, happening at 11.30 uh, Eastern Time, which is 11.30 Mountain, 12.30 Central, 10.30 Pacific. I think I got all my time zones correct on that. So stay tuned and invite people. If you know people that like using a pendulum or maybe have used one in the past but stopped using it because they just felt they weren't really reliable, this is their opportunity to really learn what the heck to do with it. 
So please invite them as well to join us on that um, episode of Takeaway Tip Tuesday. So that's it. I'm off to the gym and I will be back tomorrow morning with another episode of the uh, Daily Angel Guidance Messages. Till then, do your homework. Visualize what you want. Get really, really clear on that. And like I said, visualize doesn't just mean see it. Bring in all of the senses, as many as you can. That's really going to amp it up. It's going to kind of put that turbocharge behind it. All right, so thank you so much for being here. Have a fabulous day and we'll be back tomorrow. Take care.